this video, I'm going to be walking through how you can query Spotify's API in your Python Fast API app. To get started, you can either clone or fork my repo in the description below. To get started cloning the repo, you can go over to the code button and navigate over to local, copy, go over to terminal, and run git clone and paste. Then you'll have the repo. Next, we're going to want to get the Spotify API keys to give us the credentials to query their API. To get the Spotify credentials, go over to developer.spotify.com slash dashboard. You can create a new app, but it may already have one. Now that we're here, go to settings, and here's what you'll want to copy is the client ID. I'm not going to show my secret, but basically get the secret as well. And now we can use those in our application for fast API. Next, we will want to update our .env file with the credentials that you got from Spotify. Now that we have the Spotify credentials and the code set up, we're going to need to update our .env file. So go over to the .env and the API folder, and you'll see here I just have update. You'll want to paste your client ID and client secret here. So I'll be running this with Docker, and in particular, we're going to be using Docker Compose Up. Now we're good to go to start running. So let's run docker compose up in the terminal and it will expose at port 8000 on your local host. Once that deploys, you'll see this page. Obviously the UI is not great, but the idea is just to show the API working. So here I have a certain artist. So I think it's Bad Bunny. We'll submit and you'll see Bad Bunny and it gets all the listeners and the images that it has for that artist. So let's say we wanted to try a different artist like Mac Miller. So if you go to Spotify and actually get the artist ID, you can just paste that in here. And voila, we also have Mac Miller. So you can use this for any artist ID on Spotify and make your own API.